Hey, Craig here. So it's a new year. I've uh, got new shirts. I got this, decided to go with uh, blue, this dark blue this year. Um, so in this video, I'm going to be going over the Taz or Tass. I'm not sure how you say it. Taz sounds cooler uh, from Lakeshore Carbide. All right. Okay, so I got the three main sizes of the Taz or Tass. Um, there's one other size, I think. Um, but these are the main sizes. I got the, the quarter inch. The three eighths and the half inch. I originally, I originally wasn't going to get the uh, the Taz end mills uh, because I figured, you know, I had the sheer hog and uh, the fact that you know you can change the insert, you know, when it gets dull, it would just be a, a cheaper way to go. But I'm finding that you know you need a, a variety of different type of types of tools for different types of cuts. I mean. This part, uh, this is great for, you know, doing larger parts where you have to rough out something like this. But if you are doing a part like this where you're going like full depth, um, I think the, the Taz actually works out better. So I'm going to do a few tests with the, uh, the half inch Taz and see what kind of uh, removal rate I can get out of this, what kind of horsepower I can get the Tormach 770 up to with this so Okay, well that took it down from uh, two inch down to one inch and nothing flat, two minutes. Uh, spindle wasn't even working up a sweat, uh, sounded good, so I'm going to try the next test. Okay, well that was definitely way too much for the 770 at 7,000 RPM. I know John with NYC CNC has gotten close to that uh, MRR, uh, but he had was running at a lower uh, horsepower. So I'm going to try that. Um, it was actually pulling the uh, the tool holder out of the uh, spindle. So. I'm going to try, uh, that was at 7,000 RPM, I think I'm going to try it at uh, 5,000 RPM, or 5,100 I think, which is the maximum uh, horsepower torque uh, for the 770. It actually started running in, just barely scraping the, uh, the jaw on this, so I don't know if I uh, damaged it or not, so we'll have to, uh, we'll have to see. Okay, well, it looks like this end mill is toast, uh, an expensive mistake. Uh, lesson learned though, um, if it's not running well at all, uh, shut it off right away, otherwise the uh, it's just going to pull out of the tool holder. It didn't pull out of the, uh, it, well, it didn't pull out of the tool holder because it's got a welded, welded flat on it, but it pulled out of here, so. Um, I guess I'm going to finish this up with the uh, 3 8 I should be able to get the same removal rate uh, on the 3 8 but I'll be more careful with that one. Okay, well that sounded pretty decent. So, can definitely get um, 2 MRR, uh, 0.358 horsepower. I think I'm going to try and bump it uh, one more time. Maybe go to um, 0.4 horsepower and see what happens.
Okay, well that last one is is, is doable, but I think somewhere between uh, these two, the one with uh, 2.07 and 2.34, um, I would probably tend to stay closer to this one. What I'm kind of figuring it on is on a on an average basis uh, when roughing, doing production or something, I'd probably be somewhere around uh, 2 MRR. You know, I don't want to like push the Tormach and and uh, you know have something go wrong with it. You know, if I'm like trying to max it out all the time, there's going to be issues with bearings and tools and all this kind of stuff. So. Okay, well, if there's anybody else out there that's been running the Taz, uh, the 3 8 on the Tormach 770 has been able to get better results than uh, that, uh, feel free to leave any comments down below. I'd really appreciate it. Uh, if you like this video, I'd appreciate the thumbs up. Um, if you'd like to subscribe, there should be a subscribe button over there. If you'd like to uh, support us on Patreon to help pay for that end mill that I just burned up, I'd appreciate that. <laughs> And uh, there's some videos down below if you might like to watch them. All right, bye. Thanks for watching.